What's going on everyone, Mike1 here bringing you some BF4 gameplay from Mr. Critter on Operation Mortar. And from the title, I don't know what I'm going to name it yet, Car Trouble, story about the car, I, I don't know what I'm going to uh, call it, but a few weeks ago, um, my wife's my wife's car was giving going whoa, 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 out, you know, noise out of it for a while from the front of the car. Uh, for the last couple of months, it's been getting progressively worse. So we knew it was something got to do with the brake discs or brake pads or bearings in the front or something like that. But we 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 held off doing it anyway for a while until we got some you know spare money together to do it. So. It was one of the weeks back, you know, a few a few weeks ago, and we decided the week after that we were going to bring it up to the mechanic and get it fixed. So my wife was heading off to work that weekend, and next thing the oil light came on. So she went to the garage straight away, got some oil for it, put it into the car. Within the day or two, a noise in the engine started. Uh, appear and it was getting it was a very clunky clunky noise and it was getting worse and worse and worse so she stopped driving it we brought it up to the mechanic and he told us that um the engine was was fecked it was completely fecked it was that uh yeah there was no no oil in the engine at all and it was after happening that we you know you'd expect the oil light to come on give you a bit of notice that something like this was happening. I don't know if it was a fault in, in the you know in the oil indicator. I, I, I don't know what it was, but anyway, the engine was fecked, and we had three options we did at the time. Uh, one was to scrap the car and get a new one. The second one was to replace and refurbish the parts of the engine and get it back out on the road. Or the third one was to go and get a new engine, a second hand engine somewhere, a good second hand engine. So the mechanic had told us that he had also had a Toyota Advances car lying around for the last few years and he was not able to find a good uh, 1.6 VVTI engine out there anywhere in, in you know dismantlers and, and other garages and stuff like that. So he thought that was it was the best option but not the most feasible one because there was probably not one going to be out there. So the option of scrapping the car and getting another one was, you know, it was mute. It, was, it wasn't an option. It wasn't when, when we discussed it at the time. And the other one was to refurbish the, the, you know, the parts of the engine and that. But that didn't mean that it was going to fix the problems. Of, of the car so that was the the route we were going to take and it was going to cost you know close to about two thousand euro to get to get that done but excuse me with my wife working up in the airport and that and needing the car um we needed to get it back as soon as possible so that was the option that we were going to go down to do so um he was going off the price stuff and that and in the meantime myself and the mechanic were checking out garages for garages and dismantlers and places like that uh, for engines and that and I was ringing places in Dublin and down the country and another one uh, one in, in a place here in Kildare Kilcock dismantlers that um, if anyone knows me they probably know of it from the area and that it's it's a well known place and none of them had had anything they didn't none of them did so <clears throat> By the ending of the next week, we were, we were discussing at that, and he said, listen, hold off, I'll go and double check on prices of the parts to be done, and give me a ring on Monday and see. So over that weekend, <clears throat> I'm getting to the point soon, I am, of, of this, the, the, the funny kind of part of the, the story, um, I'm just laying down the groundwork, you know, here, and uh, dragging out the commentary bit. <laughs> um, so over that weekend then um, my wife was saying listen are we better off just strapping the car and 
you know, getting another one of that. So she was she was off having a look at different cars around the place and, and, and stuff like that and grand grand grand. So it came to Monday morning and that was that seemed to be the option that we were going with because we we were afraid that spending, you know, two thousand euro or close to two thousand euro on parts that could not work, that might not be the full you know, would fix all the problems in the car, um was worrying a bit so that's what I was going to say so I was talking to the mechanic Monday morning of this particular week and I was saying oh listen I rang up these places in Dublin and I rang up Kilcock dismantlers and stuff and weren't able to the, the, the week before and weren't able to find anything that he said oh on that on that topic I was talking to some lads over in Kilcullen it's another town here in Kildare it is another village town and they do have one that that the ending of that week on the friday evening uh, a, a, a newer version a 07 toyota Avensis 1.6 vvti car came in it was rolled off in the back and the engine is working perfectly we were like yes brilliant <coughs> excuse me um i should have taken a drink before i did this um he said you know put down the deposit as soon as possible go or go out and give the deposit as soon as possible and he might they might out there if you give in a good a, a nice deposit they might take some money off the, the price of the engine so i said fair enough give us the number took the number rang them up said oh listen johnny joe the mechanic that's not his real name i'm just saying johnny joe johnny joe said oh we had a an engine out there yeah we do yeah how much is it it was blah 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 and um Grant, can I come out and put down the deposit? Yep. So myself and, and uh, the dad went out, raced on out, raced on out to Kilcock, went into the dismantlers and said, oh, Howie, I was on the phone to you earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About the about coming out with a deposit for the engine. Yeah, 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 no problem. Um, 07 engine. Well, it's a 06. I went, no, no problem. And the price was 100 euro or less than what the mechanic had said it was going to be. I was like, brilliant even you know the mechanic was spawned with these lads thank god brilliant so pay down the deposit said when will it be ready it'll be ready just around lunchtime tomorrow um if you want to come back out and collect i said yeah brilliant so went on home went home and told um, my wife and all everything was brilliant you know things were looking up and all that kind of stuff so the next morning i rang up the uh, i rang the number and said oh how are you i was out yesterday and I gave in a deposit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, is the engine ready? Yeah, it's ready now. Yeah, yeah, no problem. As long as you call out by half five this evening, you know you'll be able to collect. No problem today because we showed up at half five. I said brilliant, great. So finished on in the day's work I did and uh, uh, raced out. Then we were a bit late leaving the office. We were raced on out to the dismantlers out in Kilcock and went in and said, oh the. the was in yesterday the, the usual crap you know i was over from uh, johnny joe and jimmy blogs and all that the, yeah no problem yeah yeah it's out there ready to go handing in the rest of the money got my receipt everything was grand uh, had the van parked out around the side engine came out went into the back of it absolutely perfect your man said just was lucky you weren't here this is about 25 past five he said just you were lucky we were, would have been closed in the next five ten minutes we were like oh yeah well obviously you, you said it on the phone earlier so I headed on home. So we were driving on home and we said we'd give the mechanic a ring and say, listen, can we just drop up the engine now and, you know, you can get working on it as, as soon as possible. So rang him up. Oh, got the engine. Brilliant, he says. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, are you up there? Yeah, I am. Yeah. No problem. Right. Well, we're coming through Clane right now, which to other people out here watching or listening to this and watching this you'll have no idea where these places are Clane is close to Kilcock it is in, in the grander scheme of things okay so um, we were coming through Clane we'll be back back home in about half an hour and he goes what are you doing in Clane and I went I was out collecting the engine and he said where did you go and I said um, I was out in in Kilcock and he goes, no, Kilcullen. And I went, no, 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 Kilcock. And he said, well, where, where did you go? And I said, I rang up the number and headed on out 
to kill cock to collect the engine? He said, no, the number I gave you was for a dismantlers in Kilcullen and that you were to go out to Kilcullen to, to get it. So what happened was I got a Kildare number. I rang up the new, the, sorry, the place in Kilcullen, asked them to take out the engine out of the car, went, drove to the other side of Kildare, walked in off the street, asked them for an engine that was almost the, the identical engine in Kilcock that had only come in over the weekend it was. The only thing that was different was the year of it. Um, and then the price was saying, I walked in off the street, I, so I rang Kilcullen, I went to Kilcock, got the engine in Kilcock, and came on home with an engine that was was probably better than the one I was going to get. I could not believe it. Now, the mechanic was absolutely furious because he had, you know, talked to lads in Kilcullen and told them that I was coming out to do it. But when I rang up Kilcullen that morning, like, I couldn't believe it. Everything went right. Everything was, was you know, kosher with me when, when I was, when I was, um, when I was thinking about it, when I think back on it. Everything barred year was right. I rang up the guys that morning. I rang up Kilcullen and said that I had out paying, was out paying a deposit. He was like, yeah, 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 no problem. Can I come out and collect it? Yeah, yeah, no problem. And I ended up going to the under end, under end of Kildare to a place that I hadn't been on the phone to anyone with. Walked in off the street and got an engine from it. Brought it home and the next day it was in the car and it's been working ever since it has been. And we've also got the Baron's son in the car and that. But um, that's my little story that I wanted to, to tell you. It was just, it, you, you couldn't, you, you couldn't make this stuff up. You couldn't, you, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> couldn't find, the, the, the mechanic couldn't find that type of engine anywhere. Then two of them come along in the space of a couple of days. I ring up one place in Kildare, I end up driving to another place in Kildare, getting the engine there and bringing it on home and absolutely perfect engine and getting it for a hundred yards cheaper. So um, yeah, so, sometimes these, sometimes bad things that happen lead to kind of funny things and uh, things that I'm able to put onto a commentary afterwards. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a story. It's not usually the type of thing that I do in these commentaries and that, but um, I thought it was a bit funny anyway to, to, to think that that type of thing happens. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. This is Mike Wan. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Laters, everybody.